The world sees North Korea as the bad boy, so why is Obama being blamed? Next on Global Pulse. A comparison of how broadcasters worldwide are covering North Korea's nuclear and missile tests. While the world has condemned North Korea's latest nuclear test, many wonder, what is North Korea and its elusive leader Kim Jong-il up to? The BBC presented theories. So why has North Korea tested another nuclear bomb? Well, it says it's in response to the international criticism of its recent rocket launch. But some observers believe North Korea has taken a strategic decision to walk away from the disarmament negotiations. Others claim with the leader weakened by ill health, it's an attempt to shore up his legitimacy at home. But the prevailing assumption is that Kim Jong-il and North Korea just want to be noticed by the U.S. Like an angry child looking for attention, the tests may be a temper tantrum on a nuclear scale. Perhaps Kim has a lot in common with his character from the film Team America. So lonely and sad we alone Seems right no one takes me seriously And as Al Jazeera shows, the American mom and dad responded, but unfortunately with the same rhetoric as previous administrations. North Korea's nuclear and ballistic missile programs pose a grave threat, and I strongly condemn their reckless action. It uh, continues to act in a provocative and belligerent manner. There are consequences to such actions. Many in the media believe the Obama administration should have paid more attention to North Korea, as Japan's FCI and South Korea's KBS describe. We have been living under various sanctions and blockades by our enemies for many years. You should know sanctions and blockades don't work anymore. North Korea may have chosen another edge-of-the-cliff strategy because even though there's a new leadership in the U.S., Obama is not pursuing a direct dialogue with North Korea. North Korea says the new leadership is no different from the Bush administration. North Korea, which wants direct talks with the Obama administration, is using the nuclear test to get the U.S.'s attention. Why did North Korea carry out the test this time? Obama has not tried to negotiate with North Korea since its recent missile launch and has continued with a hostile position against the North. Everything North Korea has done, from the missile test to this recent nuclear test, might be to deliver a strong message to the United States. Al Jazeera English and Russia's RT present the U.S. as a hypocrite for dealing with other nuclear-armed countries, but not North Korea. While it seems everyone is condemning these actions, some experts feel that there is a bigger problem that's lurking. Pakistan is actively building up their nuclear power. That's the most dangerous situation that we face, not North Korea. U.S. just announced $150 million in humanitarian aid to Pakistan. Perhaps North Korea feels they can come upon some prosperity, too. Neither North Korea nor Pakistan are parties to a global nonproliferation treaty. Yet only one of them faces such harsh criticism. So why one and not the other? Could it be that global safety is beginning to fall victim to political games? North Korea and Iran. One has nuclear weapons, the other is suspected of wanting them. But the treatment of these two nations by the U.S. is vastly different. Israel sees a nuclear-armed Iran as a threat to its very existence, but it already has an undeclared nuclear arsenal of its own. This dichotomy creates a healthy dose of scepticism across much of the Middle East as to how nuclear ambitions are treated. Iran is not allowed to have them, Israel is, while Iraq was invaded because it was thought to have the bomb but didn't. It begs the question, is it okay for your friends to have nukes but not your enemies? While the UN Security Council debates what sanctions to impose this time, at least someone bluntly laid out the consequences for North Korea and Kim Jong-il. They fully know that if they do carry out action or throw a nuke or anything of that kind, that they will be eliminated from the planet as a surviving civilization. For Global Pulse, this is Aaron Coker. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs. Programs which connect you to the world.